British wedding planner Jane Deus Hinch has spent the past 20 years organizing weddings for royalty, celebrities, and socialites. We have got to do this so fast. But will cyclists Aaron and Craig have Jane spinning her wheels? Aaron, stop crying. Will Jane be able to save Aaron and Craig's wedding? If we don't get help from Jane, it, the wedding could just be a total disaster. <laughs> Craig's relationship has been jinxed ever since their first date when they went skydiving. We went out and I broke my back. Now it seems their bad luck is about to follow them down the aisle. Two weeks before the wedding, the DJ pulled out. We have no DJ. Turns out that was just the beginning. My wedding invitations, we made them by hand, 160 of them. There was a spelling mistake. And that brings us to the florist. Aaron's mom was supposed to book the flowers. Get me flowers, please. There's a job for you. Please do it. But for some reason, it didn't quite happen. And they said, well, we don't have a confirmed order for you. I was like, what? Now, with the wedding just six days away, the cursed couple is falling apart. Like, I was She's emotional. I don't get much sleep. She starts to cry. And... If I have just a little tiny bit of wine, <laughs> I do go to sleep. And it starts all over again. <laughs> Sounds like a job for Jane Deus Hinch. Hi, it's Jane. Jane's a wedding planner and a fairy godmother who will grant Aaron and Craig three wishes to save their doomed nuptials. But before she can wave her magic wand... I'm looking for the clubhouse. Jane needs to scope out the golf club where the ceremony and the reception will take place. Goodness me. How far is this place? Let's try this way. Off we go again. Oh, could this be it? Could this be it? Hello. Hi, Jane. <laughs> I was greeted with panic. I need your help. <laughs> we have lots of things. Could I show you where it's all going to happen? Absolutely. That's where the ceremony's taking place. So this is it? Lots comes to mind before we even start. How many guests have you got? Initially, we had um, wanted 20 people, and now the wedding has ballooned to 187 confirmed. OK. What sort of chairs? Metal chairs? Are they metal? Who sits on metal chairs in 41 degrees heat, you know? This is what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm glad we're laughing and not crying. So far, Jane's heard a lot from Aaron. The ceremony, the email from the minister, the signing of the That's registry. Right. This will be where all the chairs are. Hopefully it doesn't rain. But Craig? Not so much. He hasn't but said a lot, have you, Craig? Craig and I are extremely different. She's the talker in the relationship. Just feel free to jump in there anytime. But a chatty bride and a silent groom are the least of Jane's worries. Ooh. Jane may think the reception hall is a bad 70s flashback. This is the room for the evening. But wait till she sees the centerpieces. That would be the centerpieces, yeah. So, OK, someone's gone out and gone glass vases and put some pebbles in there. Do you call that a centerpiece? What are your wedding flowers? We have the boutonnieres and corsages and bouquets, but what we don't have are any other flowers. They weren't ordered. We've got to put a lot more flowers into there to have an impact. You can't just have boutonnieres and a bouquet. But no amount of flowers will make up for Craig's wedding wardrobe. I'm wearing shorts and flip-flops. Yeah, right. Flip-flops, yes. The groom will be in flip-flops. Why not? I actually thought he was joking. I thought, you know, he's just trying to make a funny here. Right. Is the DJ on the stage? Well, we don't have a DJ yet. <laughs> Hello, how do we have a party for five hours without a DJ? I can't believe, honestly, how much there is to do. I'm spinning at the moment with everything that they've told me. 
Just remind me again how many days I've got to sort this out in. It's five days to the wedding. I understand completely now why you called Wedding SOS. <laughs> if we don't get help from Jane, it, the wedding could just be a total disaster. Coming up, there's trouble in paradise. This is about something that's important to me. And you're totally not listening. British wedding planner Jane Deus Hinge has worked with over a thousand couples, but she has never met the likes of Aaron and Craig. I'm like tears, poof, my face explodes. No, I can be upset too. Opposites may attract, but not when you're planning a wedding. I am in charge and have put myself in charge of everything. So, knock yourself out. <laughs> Somehow, Jane's going to have to find a way to bring these two together. I've got the plan! Before their differences tear this wedding apart. I don't want to say grace at my wedding, like we're part of a cult or something. My entire family would appreciate grace. This is about something that's important to me. Okay. And you're totally not listening. It's something you really want, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's something you're dead against? I could feel that this was a very sensitive issue. But not nearly as sensitive as the question, who will be giving Aaron away? Walking me down the aisle. <laughs> we discussed, and it would be her father, her, her biological father. This is totally stressing me out. Her mother wants to also be walking her down the aisle, or her stepfather, because he played a big part in her life. Who do you want to walk you down the aisle? Decisions have to be made. Aaron and Craig are going to have to get it together because Jane is only able to grant them three wishes. They need 30 wishes to make this come true. Is there anything else that is sort of burning urgency? We want, we our... want our first wish to be the DJ. Yes. Finally, Aaron and Craig agree on something. With four days to go, go find a DJ. It could be worse. Hey, Mom, how's it going? Jane could have to deal with Aaron's family about walking her down the aisle. Oh, OK. Her mother and grandmother, it's never good enough for them. No, no, and I told Nanny that already. It's like Chinese torture. They're constantly at her. We hadn't discussed anything about that. Constantly at her, phoning her. And... OK, just you don't be angry with me. You don't need to be angry with me. Crying. OK, you don't need to be yelling at me. They, they put her on a guilt trip all the time. <sighs> Ugh, that's stressing me out. Huge. Hopefully, Jane will have better luck with her phone calls. Do you have a DJ available for Saturday? OK. I know, I know it's height of season. You booked. You use an MP3 player? An MP3 player hooked up is just, won't cut it. <laughs> I just don't want that. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Aaron and Jane may be getting nowhere, but Craig's a different story. All right, card box is done. But a card box is only one thing on Jane's massive to-do list for Aaron and Craig. There is still such a lot to do. That means Aaron and Craig have to get cracking. They still need to meet the photographers. We have some specialty photos with mountain bikes. That's OK, right? It's an extra charge. Oh, god, I'm so stressed. Craig needs to confirm the minister. There was no answer on his phone. They also have to plan the ceremony. You have a sound system, right? Um, I don't think so. And there's still the dreaded seating plan. But there's some good news. Hello. Come on in. Looks like Jane has found a DJ. Hello. Nice to meet you. But is he the right DJ for this wacky couple? 
One of the things we have that's a lot of fun is our kissing dice. The kissing dice is perfect. Do you have ideas for consequences if they take their glass? How about the hula hoop? <laughs> I loved everything. He's going to make this a great party. Have I granted you your first wish? Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much. But the celebration might be a tad premature. That's awesome. There's still so much to do and not enough time to get it done. We have to decorate the hall. We have to give the final numbers. Get the flowers. A manicure and a pedicure. What else is there? I have to buy a ring. Oh, yeah. Greg doesn't have a wedding band. We have a load to do. Coming up, Aaron has a breakdown. But will it lead to a breakup? I'm worried that Craig is going to be upset. Aaron and Craig's wedding is a disaster in the making. That's where it's headed, and I just don't want that. In order to save their big day, wedding planner Jane Dayas Hinch has agreed to grant Aaron and Craig three wedding wishes. She's already found them the DJ of their dreams. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna make this a great party. But with two wishes left and two days to go, will Jane be able to get these cyclists back on the right path. It's a lot to ask. One of the things still left to do is to get flowers to decorate the hall. I don't know what I'm gonna do. That shouldn't be too hard. Today, I looked all around the city for flowers. No one could do anything for me because it was so last minute. Hi, Jane. What's the matter? Can you please help me find some flowers? With two days to the wedding, it's, it's, it's a tough order. But nothing's too tough for our Jane. She finds a florist in no time and comforts the crying bride. Once they get inside... Look what I found for you. Things start looking rosy. It's beautiful. I like the lilac. And there's going to be petals, and they're perfect color, and it's perfect. But the budget is a thorny subject. How much is the budget? $200 max. So it's 25 tables. 26. 26 tables now. We are on a very tight budget. While Aaron and Jane order the flowers, Craig and his best man, Ken, take a drive out to the wedding venue. But the journey turns out to be longer than expected. A lot longer. We've been driving forever. Yeah, I know. I thought it was closer than this. Mom, are we there yet? Mom. Oh, sheep. <laughs> Another three towns like this and we'll be there? How about now? Are we there yet? We're going to have to find some way to get everyone back to the hotel at the end of this night. After a three-hour drive in the country, Craig goes back home to even more bad news. I had to use wish number two. It doesn't matter. We've got bigger problems. What are you talking about? we got to get people back and forth from the hotel to the golf course. Aaron and Craig have to find a way to get 30 people from the hotel where they're staying to the ceremony site over an hour away. Hello? No, no cabs, no. Can you do it? OK, well, just let me finish. I, I, I knew that was going to happen. Um, the, I don't know, 20 people? We don't want to rent a car. How much? Oh, my god. They want, like, $1,700. It's impossible. We can't get anyone because it's two days. We made transportation our third wish. The day before the wedding, I've now got to go and find transportation for their guests. I don't know whether I can do this. But at this point, trucking the guests in is not Jane's only concern. <laughs> I am worried about you. She's panicking. All the time, she's panicking. Craig. Craig, come on. It's reaching fever pitch. I'm just an emotional basket case. <laughs> By tomorrow, you've got to calm down. You've got to take big, deep breaths, get some sleep. Take a leaf out of Craig's book and go chill. 
She'd had such a frantic week, such a roller coaster of emotions. And the day before the wedding, I just had to get her to calm down. Will Erin be able to do it? Or will her panic attacks get the better of her on the wedding day? I don't want to cry. Five days ago, Erin and Craig's wedding reached catastrophic proportions. The wedding could just be a total disaster. Then, British wedding planner slash fairy godmother, Jane Deus Hinch, answered their wedding SOS. She came to my rescue. She found them a DJ with three days to go. She found them a florist with two days to go. But now that the wedding day has arrived, Will Jane be able to grant Aaron and Craig's third wish and get their guests to the wedding on time? There was no transport, no taxis come out this far. And of course, they didn't want people to drink and drive. So I got them a bus. A school bus. We got a big yellow school bus because I've always wanted to drive a big yellow school bus. OK, everybody, we're here. Now that the third wish has been granted and the wedding's about to start, Aaron's panic should be a thing of the past. To put Erin's mind at rest, I thought, I'll just give her a call, and she's on the champagne and has been all morning. <laughs> Any more champagne? The bride may be tipsy, but it's Craig who has everyone teed off. Lots of people coming, but I don't see Craig. I'm shocked. He should be here by now. He's not here. I hope he's going to show. It's like after three. Craig is golfing. There is no Craig. He's out on the golf course. So I'm going to go and get him. It's all par for the course for Jane as she gets Craig ready in the nick of time. And she does scream. But getting Aaron's mom ready proves to be more difficult. We are one, of course, our short. Which one were they short? Mother of the bride. You can't let mother of the bride not have a corsage, so I gave her mine. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Now, the only thing left for Jane to do is usher in the last minute stragglers. Erin and Craig? Yeah. Yes, oh. thank you. Now that everyone's seated, Jane gives the cue. It's time for Erin to walk down the aisle. But who will walk with her? All week, there's been a lot of problems between Erin and her mum. To keep the peace, Jane came up with a brilliant solution. Mum and stepdad walk you halfway. Dad's waiting under the archway, hand you over, and then the two of you walk down. I think the compromise was a good one, and we managed to get her down there without tears. Thank you. I, Aaron, take you, Craig, to be my husband. Aaron, I give you this ring. <laughs> the ceremony may be over, but that means the problems have just begun. Okay, I'll get it. There are still things to do in the hall, so I'm going to go and sort all that out now. While the bride and groom get their wedding photos taken, it's up to Jane to single-handedly put the flower arrangements out, decorate all 26 tables with rose petals. We have got to do this so fast. Put out the table plan, fix the chair bows, Check on the DJ. What are you going to be playing during dinner? That's a good question. Ooh. And get the guests into the hall. Do you know which table you're at? Somehow, Jane manages to get it all done. Now, the only thing left to do is to see who won the Battle of the Grace. Erin got her way. I wasn't too crazy about it, but she's going to do it. I get to sing Grace. <laughs> singing Grace. Well, now we know why Craig was against it. Thankfully, the DJ takes over. Hi, everyone. 
Wish number one was for a DJ, because the first one bailed on us, but too bad for him, he missed a great time because it's just been awesome party. They wanted an interactive DJ. You have to do a silly dance for 15 seconds. Come on, guys, put your hips in. They got the most hyperactive, interactive DJ you could ever wish to book. Wish number two was more flowers. A wedding needs flowers, and she realized that. But the centerpieces and all the million rose petals are absolutely gorgeous, and they just put that finishing touch on it. I'm really pleased I was here to save the day and grant them their three wishes. Jane has totally saved the day. It's been awesome. Jane just helped organize everything. Everything ran smoothly. It was great. The day was just wonderful. On to the next Nightmare Nuptials. I so want to give you a huge wedgie right now. Like, just... Not wearing underwear. Oh. And that is what we wanted, and the... 